Frank is the atheist vegetarian, and I'm a mercenary of God who'll eat anything smaller than me. Well, I, I started to get, par I got Parkinson's disease. Uh, the symptoms came forward in 2002. When you talk about Frank as a person, at this point in his life, everything starts with his battle uh, with Parkinson's. Ironically, I ended up with a disease that uh, is degenerative, and my mind is actually ending up like these paintings, deteriorating. So, it's just, uh, Just an irony, I guess. My body's like an egg timer. You know, those little egg timers that have sand in them, you turn them upside down, and the sand falls through. That's kind of what my body is. Every day, my body is deteriorating. So I'm doing these paintings that are a series of sequences where they, they start out with a lot of things going on, and less and less and less and less. So if you're going to paint a fruit bowl exactly the way it looks, you might as well take a photograph because you're going to get a great representation. I would have to say he's probably one of the most intriguing, um, brilliant individuals I've ever met. Incredibly different. He's truly an inspiration. He's uh, a very talented man whose knowledge and love of what he does can be uh, felt when you're in his presence. Things have gotten pretty wacky and crazy. I went to see a contemporary seance that he had at the art festival in downtown Pittsburgh. If you give somebody uh, 17 acres and say, build me a mansion, anybody can do that. But give them a little 10 by 10 city lot and say, build me a mansion. And that's where talent comes in. I don't see the journey very exciting. If you're going somewhere, you don't even know where you're headed. You learn that the secret of success is not measured by the dollar or fame, it's measured by the art of falling down and getting back up. You fall down eight times, you get up nine.